What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my crack room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing junk journal content and videos. So if that's what you're into, please do subscribe and give me a little thumbs up on this video. It would really help me out. Um, so today, like the title says, we are making double pockets using uh, book pages. And basically, I've seen these on uh, Junk Journal Chat and Junk Journal Junkies and pretty much everywhere I've seen these done a lot. I don't know if Patricia Vermonte has made these to begin with. She usually does all the book page stuff. Um, but anyways, that is what we are going to make. Uh, this is basically gonna go in a corner and it has a pocket right here. And then once you glue three sides of this, it has a pocket right here. So I'm excited to make these. Hi, Miss Patricia, how are you? I made a couple already and um, I just thought I'd make a video on them. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now I'm using a book that is already pretty much the same size that I want my pocket to be. Um, so you can either cut up paper to this size or you can use different book pages and see how you like their length. This is this one's just going to be like a corner pocket but if you, you did use a bigger book page you could possibly do a whole page pocket. Um, the size of this book, these book pages, let me show you, is uh, five by almost four inches so you could do five by four it's actually five by like uh three quarters three and three quarters but it's basically five by four and it's already it's, it's some sort of uh english dictionary it's already not it's a pretty new book it's not like an old book so the pages are pretty um strong they're not brittle you definitely don't want to. I feel better. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, these pages are really strong already on their own. They're not brittle. And uh, that's what I'll be using. And I'm going to use bright orange thread to begin to do a, a couple of them. I think I've been doing like 10 of each color or something. I'm almost ready to start decorating my junk journals. I um, did release my new set of uh, short happy quotes and of course I've already printed them and I've already um, cut them out with my scanning cut and right now what I need to do is I this was from the old set uh, what I need to do is I need to um, I need to finish cutting up all my flowers because I'm done with my regular embellishments, but I still have to make more uh, prayer journal embellishments. So I need to get through a big old stack of flowers. And I have started on that. I didn't get very far today, <laughs> but I did start on it and I got to finish with the flowers and then I can do my prayer embellishments and then be done with that for a while. Thread my machine here. Okay, we are where we were threaded, and now we're like a made of knot here. That's terrible. It's made of knot right when I was done threading. Hang on, yo, I made a mess. What happened? I try to put through was too long. Sometimes it does get tangled. Okay, so on the first page, I'm going to fold all the way. I'm going to fold one corner all the way down. I'm going to make sure this little part over here makes a point. And that's where I'm going to score it like that. The flap has to go down on the right side. 
And then here on this one, I uh, make sure this line right here lines up with this one. As straight as I can get it to be. And then that's where I fold. So I guess I leave almost like almost an inch gap from the border till I start to fold. And then these two pieces get sewn together. And that is your double pocket. And this is just a perfect project for this type of book that I have. <laughs> this little uh, pocket dictionary. Great for that type of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this one right here. A little bit of extreme point. I'm going to sew it at a uh, straight stitch with 3.5 length. And I'm going to stitch down the side that's folded. Okay. So now I have that side folded, I mean, uh, sewn. And they're caught up there. I don't really like all these threads. So do cut them as I go along because they get on my nerves. Uh, next step is to put this one, the, the pointy one in front of this one, the other one. Match up the corners. We get a paper clip because we do need, I can't sew it exactly. I can't keep it this well put together here. So I do use a paper clip right there. And now I'm going to sew all the way around. I'm trying to make it as good as I can, but I am farther away from my sewing machine than I normally am. <laughs> So too messily. Take off the paper clip. Just make sure these corners stay together here. back stitch on this because sometimes it'll leave a little gap right there if you don't back stitch so I just back stitch and this looks really cute with the bright orange I love it so that is ooh, right there could it that was kind of ugly right there uh you do get this nice like I said double pocket effect you can choose to cut this part off here or just leave it um yeah I really like these pockets and I really like to practice my straight stitch, to be honest with you. I'm still practicing <laughs> each one, each time I'm still practicing. Um, yeah, I really like a lot of straight stitching. <laughs> okay, so let's fold this one to the, like I said, the right flap. Fold it down and make sure it makes a little point right here. Again, on this one, I just make sure that this line is right here. If you don't have anything like that, again, you want to be about an inch away from the edge. Wow, that word right there, that's not up there. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to use this other side. Go ahead and just use this other side instead. Okay. Oh, and I did it too much. I did it too far. Okay, keep going. We'll get it right eventually. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're right. 
are ready. Let's go. You can even cut your scraps to this size. Technically, this part gets folded over, but you do need that size initially. And so this would be great for scrap paper too. Okay, the cleaning one gets the stitch down the edge and then put it together with the other page. Again, this is nice strong paper. So you definitely don't want to use brittle paper with this project. And of course, you don't even have the stitch, you can use glue. <laughs> you can use glue. Stitch there a couple times. Should have done it one more time. <laughs> I love the way it looks in orange. It looks really cute in orange. I love it. Hi, Miss Chen. How are you? Welcome. It's not a really triangulated page. It's a straight down line to it, a down edge. And I've been just kind of using the same stitch. You can switch it up, of course. I just like the look of straight stitches. I'm doing great, Miss Jen. I hope you had a good day today. Ooh -ooh. I took about three naps today. <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> Oops. This one I was supposed to put together. Oops, oops, oops. Hang on, hang on. Never mind. Oh, I know that we're supposed to put this together now. Okay. Now we can sew around. Keep an eye on where I'm supposed to be, but it's hard with this camera in front of my face. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I love this spread. It's awesome. It is most very well bright. Nice bright orange there. So you can see it from outer space. But it's kind of funny though because when I scan this, when I make an embellishment with this color or even like a lime green, like a neon lime green, and I scan them, they show white. It's really funny. It's really hilarious how it does that. What, boo boo? I think that's something to say. He has something to say. Yeah, it's very weird. It does the same, I don't know, I only have one scanner, so I really don't know. But um, it does the same with bright neon pink, too. It'll show up as pastel, and I'm just like, what happened? I had such a great thing going on, and then now it's like pastel pink. What? It sucks. I, I don't even feel like scanning my jelly prints because of it. <laughs> okay. So there we got our two pages. Again, I'm using a pocket dictionary pages. Which, what a great find this was. I've made different types of pockets with this one. I love that book. I found it at a thrift shop somewhere. And I like the size of it. I like to get like odd sized books. Or like different colored books. Like I have some that have like yellow pages. Or like when the text isn't black. I love those kind of books too. Or when the text is really big. <laughs> That's fun too. Um, this again was because the pages are really small. I'm like how cute is that? So that was a good purchase. And it's more of a newer book, so the pages are nice and strong, which is great for some projects. It's not definitely not vintage, but it was somebody's junk. Nice book, though. I mean, it's not like, it's obviously used, but it's not like terribly used. I noticed with iridescent sprays, it ends up gray color on the scan, but it looks pretty cool. Just a shame sometimes, though. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's sew around in them. I have, I used to hate this color thread. And then, I don't know, one day you just hit, like, I was like, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> just one day. When you put it next to pastel, somehow it looks pastel. It's really weird. I love it. Definitely have to hold that together with paper clip. thumbs up if you have a moment. I need to drink more water, y'all. I'm trying to stay on top of that. I drink some water, water, water. Water, water, water. Have the translation for Atsuki bean, a legume grown in Japan and China whose seed are ground into flowers. I've never had to know that, but uh, 
this bow would have been handy. So it would have been handy. Okay, so one of these little pages, again, this book page is um, almost five by four. It's like a quarter inch shy from four inches. So you could, uh, you like I said, you could use bigger book pages um, and have like a whole pay, uh, page pocket going on. You can cut your book pages down or you could use a uh, scrapbook paper that you cut down. I'm going to use a nice strong paper. Definitely nice strong paper is a must. I find weak paper, I can't even fold it. It just like cracks. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. So here's this. Are you eyeballing the angles? This one, I go all the way down and I just make sure it makes a little point here before I score it. This one, um, the, the only way I'm looking at it is there's this straight line. There's this line right here. I mean, you fold it down, it matches up to this uh, to make it like go straight. You see that? That's what I'm looking for. This right here. Um, but if you don't have that on your page, then there's almost an inch gap right here before I fold it down. And the size that it leaves right here, let's see here, is about a three quarter, about about three quarter inch gap between these. So if you want to measure all that out. Um, but I've just been, I've, I eyeball this line to make sure that's straight. And then this one comes all the way down and I just make sure that that corner here makes a little triangle before I fold it. And that is what I look at. Hi Miss Letitia, how are you? The uh, paper here that has a triangle, the most fold or whatever, triangle. That one gets a line down the edge. I don't ever cut these out, but I guess if you want to cut them out, you could. I don't think it'll make a difference. I really don't. Okay, and then this one right here. The one that's less folded goes behind. Okay. Let me just line these up. Get my little paper clip. I've been most well, Miss Letitia. Thank you for asking. I've been most, most well. Happy to be seeing my family lately. We've been getting together, so that's been really nice. After, you know, almost two years of not seeing each other, it's really nice. We got together for my um, grandmother's, I think it was 75th birthday this weekend. 75th birthday for my grandma. And all my family from Cali came and it was just really nice. We got to hang out with my cousins and I felt so weird because I was like, should I hang out with the children? Which the children are now about 22. <laughs> I was like, or should I hang out with my cousins or my uncles? But it was a pretty easy choice. All my uncles were hanging out outside. And it is hot. And I don't want to hang out outside. So I was playing Mario Kart with my younger cousins <laughs> inside most of the time. I did go out to dance, but I I cannot dance in 110 degree weather. Everybody else was loving it, and I was like dying.
Uh, have fun spending time with them. It must have come, especially now. Like, yes, exactly. That's exactly why I'm like, I want to see my battery. Of course, I was pulling it before the needle came out. Kind of broke it a little bit there. I guess that's okay. Uh, do you do Father's Day or Mother's Day and Mother's Day? Uh, not really. I never, uh, I didn't grow up celebrating holidays. I never really celebrate any holiday. So I've never gone to my mom and said happy Mother's Day. <laughs> or my dad either. So not really. It wasn't a thing for me. But now I just do whatever I want. I'm just, you know, trying to hang out with my family. If that <laughs> if that's bad in your eyes, then whatever. <laughs> what to say. Uh, I still don't and my mom is still active in the religion. So I I don't want to be disrespectful if she doesn't celebrate Mother's Day. I'm not gonna be disrespectful and bring her flowers and a gift. How disrespectful is that? <laughs> I I buy her one present a year <laughs> for her anniversary. For their anniversary, I'll give them both like something, and I'll say, "Okay, this is your Christmas birthday, everything all in one." Since you don't like to do any of that stuff, <laughs> and they accept that. <laughs> Yeah, I thought anniversaries are celebrated. Yeah, anniversaries are celebrated. My mom went to my cousin. My cousin had a graduation party. She went to that. Anniversaries, baby showers, um, weddings. Would she go to a wedding? She might go to the party. Uh, weddings, what else? I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's a good That's a good Okay, so. Again, we got the pointy page in front of the other page. Daisy, uh, Daisy, has your mom asked for one of your journals? Does she support your journal? She supports anything that I do, honestly. <laughs> she might not understand what I'm doing. But my mom will always, like, if I ask her, if I tell her about drunk journaling, and she's like, okay, well, I guess. Like, <laughs> she knows I've been making cards for a long time. I've been making cards. So I've always shown her my stuff. So she knows why I need, like, lace and stuff. <laughs> And materials and things she understands that I do art and stuff um and I've shown her some of the books but she's never asked for one <laughs> she's never asked for one I don't think I've ever told her that I do prayer ones because they're not her kind of prayer books <laughs> uh she doesn't like like they don't believe in crosses and stuff and I always put crosses in in the design, just for aesthetic, not because I have a preference to it or not now. Um, but it, they sell to, they, they seem to sell the most, you know, when they have like crosses and stuff. So that's what I do. So I don't know, maybe if I ever made her one without crosses, I don't know how she would feel. I really don't know. I really don't know. She'd ask me to go back to church. <laughs> like she does all the time. No, I mean, my mom's always been awesomely supportive of me. And like I said, pretty much anything I want to do. So, that's nice. That's always nice. Like, she gets, like, she doesn't look at me all weird like the rest of my family when I'm, like, buying bed sheets and thrush. <laughs> 
she definitely understands me. And like I told you when I was telling her about drunk journaling, I would ask her, like, she'd be like, okay. And then I'd be like, can you ask your friends if they can keep their cereal boxes for me? And she's like, okay. And she does. <laughs> so she's that much supportive. <laughs> And if I tell her I'm making money, then she's very supportive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why are you ripping your sheets? I know. I know. And uh, she she helps me any anytime she can. She helps me. She's, like, amazed by things I do with fabric, you know? Just like the simple quilt, because again, quilt is just not, it's not a thing in Mexico. I don't think so. I have never seen a quilt in Mexico in my life. Um, everybody crochets, but she's like really interested in, in how I do that. And uh, if I asked her for crochet flowers or something, she'd probably do it. She's crafty too, though, herself. Not in the way I am, but she likes to crochet and mostly crochet. <laughs> mostly she crochets. That's awesome. What about your dad? What does he think? My dad thinks that anything I do to make money is great. <laughs> my dad thinks it's crazy that I can pay my bills off this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So he's just like, that's awesome. <laughs> he's just like, that is awesome. I don't get it. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He doesn't really get involved in it. But as long as I'm making money, my dad is like, that's great. Great. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> My mom sweetly shouted me out on Facebook. How cute. That's adorable. That's sweet. This is popping right here. I'm going to have a nice little stash here for the next time I make a whole bunch of journals. So I'm excited. I've been meaning to make pockets. <laughs> yes, Miss Letitia. He supports me. Well, my parents have always been very awesome. Like, uh, I mean, if they hadn't gotten me a computer when they did, I would, you know what I mean? Like, so they've always been supportive of me and definitely have always wanted the best for me as, as they could, you know, provide. My first computer was a junk. <laughs> My first computer was a piece of junk. But you know what? As a kid, I don't think you need more than that to learn how to manage things. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then they got me a better computer. And they've always been very, like, supportive of me uh, using computers. And when I showed them, I learned how to, you know, make flyers and stuff. And they thought that was great. I don't remember if I even, I'm pretty sure I asked them for a computer, but I don't, I don't remember how that came about. I can't remember, you know, child. I'm not, I am the oldest of three. I have a little sister and a little brother in Texas. They're little, they're both younger than me, but they're both taller than me. <laughs> it's one of those situations. I'm the shortest. <laughs> I'm the shortest. Oh, that's awesome. But uh, what was your first thing? What was your first craft thing? I mean, my mom always did crafts with us. My mom was a an elementary school teacher in Mexico, and uh, so she would always have us do art projects and stuff. Um, I remember making things out of pencil shavings. 
I remember, I remember doing paper mache as a child. So like, I love that. I love paper. I mean, there came, you know, my love for collage, basically. You know what I mean? And I always was painting and stuff. I was not a very good painter, but I was always having fun painting. <laughs> and uh, I remember making, I remember my mom, I can't remember, somebody showed me how to sew, like very, very sloppily, but the very basics of sewing, I knew very young, with the needle and thread, I mean. And I remember making a little, because my jeans are always too long. So I remember when I cut off the bottom of the jean, you know, you have a little rectangle. And I made a little rectangle into a purse somehow. That was fun. That, that I remember very, very clearly. <laughs> Making purses out of my bell bottoms. Nowadays, you work in quick too. It's so, I never thought I would be anything, do anything with this actual sewing machine, to be honest with you. And before junk journaling, I never cared. <laughs> I never really cared. I only uh, ever used a sewing well, use so My mom used a sewing machine a lot when I was a kid because, again, we'd have to cut off the bottom of my pants and then she'd have to sew them. So we always had a sewing machine, but I never had an interest in it ever, ever, ever. So I'm quite shook myself that, <laughs> and my mom too. My mom was pretty like, oh wow, <laughs> you can sew straight, that's great. <laughs> and then my dad, I, when I was over there one time with my sewing machine, my dad had me so fix a pocket that he had on his work shirt. And I was like, oh, my God, you trust me with your shirt. <laughs> I was so nervous. It was just a little rip on the pocket. <laughs> Casey was uh, like, I told journey. Yeah, no, for real. It was journaling. Um, being inspired by everybody and they make what they make. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that, too. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even come up with this stuff on my own at all. <laughs> I'm very much inspired by what I see on Facebook groups and what everybody else is doing. Um, let's see, we can do a neon pink. Neon pink for the green. Yes, let's do some neon pink because I don't have any pink. This is a very loud pink here. I got a little loud here. Yeah, I had a I had a patch up his shirt. I was like, oh wow. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Of course, if my mom had been well, she would have did it, but <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'll make this little bobbin here, and then we'll get back to pockets. Oh, yes, this is a very bright pink. Have you ever thought about doing ones with those solid baby buttons? What do you mean doing doing ones? What do you mean? Doing what? Doing what? Do I make a blanket or do I make stuff out of the blanket? What am I what am I doing? I'm understanding something? Am I making a blanket? Am I making something out of the blanket? What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> BA, Bachelor of Arts, BAA, the bleep of a sheep. And I was like, BAA, and then I was like, oh, bah? <laughs> 
Baba is a sweet rum cake. I've never heard of that. Babbit metal alloy of mainly tin copper used to light bearings. These are really weird words they want you to have. Okay. So the first page again, the right hand corner. I fold all the way to the edge and I just make sure that this is making a nice triangle. Second page, I, oh wow, this page is blank over here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do it the, this other way. Um, I have this line right here and I make it match up with this line right here from this column. And that's where I fold. Again, this is about one inch, one inch from the edge. And they make about a three quarter inch gap between the pages right there. Now the blankets that are thin and swaddle babies in. Okay, but do you, are you suggesting I make them? Or are you suggesting I like make a junk journal cover out of them? Making a journal cover with a solid color thin baby blank. Oh my god. Okay. Um no, I have so much fabric to go through. <laughs> It'd have to be interesting fabric. And you know what? New baby fabric is expensive. <laughs> baby stuff is expensive. That's why I don't have a baby. <laughs> but that would be an interesting thought. That would be an interesting theme and way to go about it for sure. I went too far. I went too far. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just like, what? Make what? I don't want. Sorry, I'm slow, okay? I'm a little slow. <laughs> It takes me a little bit. I get there eventually. <laughs> Once it's explained to me 10 times, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Just like, do I want to make blankets? I don't want to make blankets. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've seen lacy shirts I like that I can tear up and make into a journal. They have to be very cheap because you can get lace a lot cheaper if you buy like a lace curtain. It's the same price as the dress and you get so much lace. I've never actually torn apart clothing to make journals. I've never done that. There's always much more fabric for the same price in bed sheets. This is the bright neon pink. It almost looks the same as the neon orange. I guess there is a difference, a tiny bit of a difference you can see there. Okay, okay, okay. The next page. Again, I'm using these teeny tiny uh, pocket English dictionary pages. Got this at the thrift shop. They're about five by four. They're about uh, five by three and three quarters. Okay, basically five by four. First page, again, I fold it all the way down to the edge. And uh, I just, you see right here how that's not a triangle. That uh, makes a square point. So you have to release it a little bit more. And I find the point where it turns into a triangle. See, that's not even it. That's not even a triangle. That's the triangle. 
Now we've got this little triangle point, little sharp point right there. If you're not slow, you see how fast you are with sewing. <laughs> I never thought about lace cards like to recruit. I've done pillow covers for German covers before. I like pillow covers if they're cheap. If they're really, if they're like 50 cents a wide. Um, but I'd really bet, rather have bed sheets because it's more fabric. Sometimes you just find the pillow cover. It happens. <laughs> it happens. And this one right here, I just line up this line right here with this. But it's about one inch from the edge. Okay. And then we are going to straight stitch the um, uh, pointier one from the edge. Also zigzag this part too. That'd be cool. Oops! 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 I just have the camera on my glasses. <laughs> of course, you don't even have to sew. You could glue. <laughs> so I just like to sew, but you could definitely just glue it together. Put the pointing one in front of the, the less pointing page, and then we're going to sew these two together. What? Letitia, girl. What? <laughs> the lowest price in our thrift store is $129. That's cheap. Did you ever get more of that blue thread days in the pretty bright one that you like last week? I have not ordered any since last year, so I don't think I have. I can't even remember what color. It's been so long. I think I, I can't remember what color I'm talking about right now. But it is so random when they do send you colors. You just never know. And you more than likely will not get the same color you're looking for. That's how it goes. That's how it goes with them. Oh, you brought your toy? He brought his toy. Here's the little belts. <laughs> There's the pocket right there. Again, you can choose to cut this part off or not. Either way. Either way. Walmart charging three nine eight eight ninety nine for a pack here and individuals it's forty nine cents. You should buy on Amazon. Amazon, anything you could buy at <laughs> Yeah, a beach is a species of tree. Okay. What little boy? Oh my goodness. I got him a new toy. And he, he kind of loves it. He is like, he loves his toys about one to two hours in a day. And then after that, he's kind of over it until the next day. But I, no, you can't pick your own color now. No, you just buy the set and they send you... How many spools is it? Twenty or something? Let me see if I have the link. Do you have the link somewhere? Here it is. They send you twenty-four different colors. Twenty-four random different colors. Okay, I heard you, boy. Don't be a bossy little boy, boys. Don't be a little bossy, bossy boy, boo -boo. Don't do it, boo -boo. <laughs> Hang on, y'all. I have to throw his toy or he'll just keep looking at me. Like I did something to him. <laughs> I 
I am running out of some colors, but I also have plenty to work with, so I don't feel like ordering anymore. <laughs> but it is a really good deal that I really wouldn't mind ordering it again. <laughs> but again, I'm good right now. I am good right now. I have like 10 different shades of blue. I probably don't have that one I, I used to miss, but I'm good. <laughs> I have survived. I'm not going to keep ordering, just hoping to get that blue off. I will live. It would be nice if I could pick out my colors, but you know, I'll find them too. Because they always give me nice colors too. Always, always nice colors. Yeah, so tw you get 24 big. They're not small spools either. They're big spools. Big, thick spools. Let me show you. Mm, here's a new spool right here. I think they said it's a thousand yards. So it's a big chunky spool. A lot of thread on there. Right? A lot of thread. That's, that one's new. I haven't opened that one. I don't need to. I have like four shades of brown. <laughs> yeah, no, I stopped buying the ones at Walmart. They were too expensive. That's why I only had like two colors. <laughs> and then my friend Crafty Irina, she's like, look at this. And I was like, yes, that's what I need. That is what I've been ordering ever since. And I love them. I really do. I really like this thread. Yeah, it's a lot on a roll. It really is. It really, really is. It's a really good deal. I'm trying to work through all my thread for a little bit longer before I order more. So I'm trying to use, use up my thread. I'm also trying to use the colors I don't exactly like. <laughs> trying to use those too. Anyway, I can. Things like this are good to use those kind of colors with that I don't really enjoy. I like these colors though. You're going through pink fast? Yeah. That'll happen. Luckily, whenever I buy the, the ink, or not the ink, whenever I buy this thread set, there's always one or two pieces certain more than that. So I've got a lot of pink still. Um, still have quite a bit of neon. I definitely have a lot of pastel pink. That's for sure. So I've a lot of pastel pink. My neon pink, I love my neon pink. But with many stuff you make and so you'll get through it. I actually do go f uh, through them not I don't take that much it doesn't take much sometimes to get through these rolls or spools, whatever you want to call it. Hi, Miss Tina. Good morning to you. Ooh, glow in the dark thread. That sounds fabulous. I want some of that. That sounds awesome. Get on that, Miss Letitia, before they take your money, girl. <laughs> I want some glow in the dark thread. You know the walls have ears, you know. My husband always says that. He'll be like, they stole my idea, and I'm like, really? <laughs> he swears up and down that he thought of that. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just like, well, the law's going to have ears. you got to act on it. Or somebody else is going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I love these pockets. I was thinking, uh, Tammy, hi Tammy, they do make glow in the dark threat. Hello, all. <gasps> what? Did it really go in the dark tammy? Or was it just like a highlighter color? Did it really glow in the dark? No, oh, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. such a nice little stash going on. I got some pinks. I got orange. The red ones look stunning. Just stunning in red. I have black. I also have some of this like little baby blue. I probably like the red ones the most just because the color is so nice and striking. I could use these for my Christmas looks too. I should make some green ones also. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. I bet it will look cool when the spider webbing quilt. Oh, wow. Spider web quilt. I've seen that. I have seen that at the, at the, at the quilt shop. Somebody did a Halloween quilt. I remember because my husband pointed, pointed it out too. He liked it. And uh, it, it, it had some spider web quilting. It was so cool. Very cool. That sounds like a really cool project. Tina says, I was just going to say that I have glow in the dark rocks. <laughs> glow in the dark is still cool. I don't care what anybody says. Sorry, my glasses just touched the camera, just barely. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to clean up some of my craft room and I'm gonna have to go through all my books I did a bunch of book junk journals a while ago, years ago now, <laughs> and I was left with all the inside of the books, and you know what, I have not used a lot of them. A lot of them are just really unimpressive, and they're boring, or they're brittle. I need to get rid of them, I need to put them away. Old book paper can sometimes harbor silverfish and stuff like that, so I need to do a little bit of a clean sweep here. And I'm going to try and be picky with the books that I keep. I'm going to try and be picky. So I only keep the best books. Oh, really? No. 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 He doesn't even know what the word no means. <laughs> Just swallow the boy.
Okay, so that looks really cute. I love it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I only got four of them. Okay. This is obviously going to be an ongoing product, but um, I do like, like I said, to pick out little books like this. Little weird books, small books, different colored book pages, different uh, ink that's not black, you know. Um, big and then small books are fun too. And this one's not vintage. Not everything you use has to be vintage. Uh, like I said, for this project, you definitely want stronger book paper. And uh, you don't want anything brittle because they just don't do well with faulty. <laughs> I've made different types of pockets from this book. I really, really love it. Again, it's just a little pocket English book, English dictionary. So if you happen to find yourself one, grab it. Because I love these, you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, I'll either be have made the... Uh, no, I'll probably be making embellishments tomorrow. The last of the last <laughs> that I have to do for now. Then I can get to decorating my junk journals. There's a lot to do, you guys. But I will see y'all tomorrow night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys try out these book pockets. They're actually a lot of fun. And uh, get to it. You guys have some fun crafting. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Peace out.